Hey everyone, Sarush here from SK Talks Games and in this video I want to show you how to move your games and saves from your modded Nintendo 3DS to an Android device. By doing this you will be able to play your 3DS games on Android to take advantage of stronger processing power of your device so you can have things like higher resolution, higher graphics and the use of save states and of course you can even bring your saves over from your 3DS to continue where you left off so you won't have to start a whole new game. For this to work you're gonna need to have a modded 3DS. If your 3DS is not modded or hacked yet, you're going to need to follow the official guide to mod it. The official guide will be linked down in the description and also pinned to the top of the comment section so you can easily find it. And really any links or sources that I mentioned in this video will be found in the same place. You're also going to find a link to my written guide from my Patreon that's completely free of charge. It's just for those people who prefer to follow a written format. And also, if you want to transfer your 3DS games and saves to your PC so you can play them there, I've already made a video about it, which you'll find linked below. So first, you're going to need to make sure your 3DS is modded. Next, you're going to need your Android device. Now, I'm going to be using my Ambernic RG477M, but really, any Android device or phone should be fine so long as it's capable of 3DS emulation, especially the new dual screen Android devices like the Ion Thor and the Ion Neo Pocket DS. So you're gonna need to set up a few apps first. On Android, I'm mainly using Azahar for emulating 3DS games because it's just so much easier to transfer both game files and saves into it. Citra MMJ will also work, but there's no easy way of importing saves into it because of where Citra stores your saves and the structure it uses. So I'm going to skip Citra when it comes to importing saves. There are other videos that cover this already and I'm going to make sure to link it down below. Another app that I use on Android is called Solid Explorer, which is a file manager. Now this one is not a requirement, but I highly recommend it because it makes copying and pasting your files on Android just so much easier since it has a nicer interface to work with. I don't think it's a free app because I remember buying it many years ago. So yeah, it's up to you. On your 3DS, you're going to need access to God Mode 9, which we're going to use for dumping our games. You're also going to need Checkpoint, which we're going to use for backing up our saves. If you follow the official guide to hack your 3DS, you should have access to both of these apps right out of the box. I want to make one more suggestion before we get into it. If you're going to do this a bunch of times, maybe you have a large library, it's going to be worth using an FTP client so you don't have to keep removing the SD card out of your 3DS. Solid Explorer on Android has an FTP feature which works great and you can also use the FTP app on your 3DS. On Windows, I use WinSCP. That's all the requirements and suggestions that I have to make this process as easy as possible. First, we're going to talk about how to dump your 3DS games and put them on your Android device. So we're going to use a little app called God Mode 9 to dump our 3DS games. Now, in order for our dump files to work with emulators on Android, we need to make sure we get the right file format. Azahar and Citra support decrypted CIA files as well as CXI files. So both of them are going to work, but I think working with CXI files is a little bit faster since creating them involves less time. So I'll show you how to make CXI files first and CIA files later if you still want to use them. And just before we get into it, if you have your game on the original 3DS cartridge, you can still use God Mode 9 to dump them onto your 3DS. I've already made a video on how to do this and I'll link it down below under the like and subscribe buttons. So in order to do this, you need to go into God Mode 9 by switching off your device completely. Then hold the start button and press the power button. If you get asked whether you want to finalize or go into God Mode 9, go into God Mode 9. Press the home button which will bring up the action menu. Go sort of in the middle and pick title manager and then pick SD card. Let it load up your install titles. This might take a few seconds depending on the size of your library. Once it's done you get a list of all the titles that you have on your SD card. Pick the game that you want to dump and press A. Go into manage title and then go down to dump CXI NDS file and press A. God Mode 9 will start dumping your game as a CXI file. Just make sure that your 3DS doesn't run out of juice in the middle of all this because that won't be good for anyone. And once it's done, you're going to find it in the GM9 out folder that's on your SD card. You're going to need to repeat this process for all the games you want to dump. Just remember that each game will take up space on your SD card. So if you have a pretty big library, you may not be able to dump all your games in one go as it's going to fill up your SD card fairly quickly. 
There is another way of doing this which involves running a script in God Mode 9 and then using your PC to create the CXI files which doesn't fill up your SD card and in my opinion is much faster and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But for now, let's talk about how to dump your games as decrypted CIA files. First, you need to repeat the same steps as before except instead of picking build CXI NDS file, you want to pick build CIA standard. Picking the standard version instead of legit should automatically decrypt the CIA file that gets created. And once that process is done as well, you'll find you're fine in the same spot as before, GM9 out. Now, if you want to make sure the CIA file that you just created is actually decrypted, then you want to navigate to SD card, go all the way down to GM9, go into out, and here you should see all the files that you've dumped so far. So you can see I've got a bunch of CXI files and a couple of CIA files. I want to make sure the Ocarina of Time 3D that I've dumped as a CIA file is actually decrypted. You're going to press A on it, go into CIA image option, and then go and tap A on decrypt file. You should get a message saying the file is not encrypted, which is what you want. And if the file is encrypted, God Mode 9 will decrypt it for you into the same folder. Either way, you will get what you need. In any case, repeat this process for all the games you want to copy to your Android device, and then you need to decide how you're going to copy all these files over. I'm actually going to remove the SD card from my 3DS and put it into my PC. Then I'm going to use my FTP client to transfer them onto my RG477M. And you might say, well, why don't you just put the SD card into your 477M? And the reason I don't want to do that is because one, I'm not sure if the SD card that I'm using with my 3DS is formatted correctly to work with Android and I don't want to risk it getting formatted once I put it into my 477M. And two, even if the card is formatted correctly, once you put an SD card into your Android device, Android tends to populate it with all these Android folders, which is going to make my 3DS SD card all messy. I'm also not going to use FTP to transfer my files from my 3DS because the Wi-Fi chip on the 3DS is very slow. So it's going to take a long time. Once everything is done getting copied, I'm going to open Azahar on my 477M. Then I'm going to tap on the three dots on the corner and go all the way down to select applications folder. And then I'm going to pick the folder where I've stored all my 3DS games. So for me, it's going to be that N3DS folder that's going to be right here. Tap on use this folder and press allow. When you go back to your applications, your games should show up. If you dumped your games as CIA files, then you're going to have to install them one by one on Azahar and they're going to show up here. You can do this by going back into the same options menu, tap on install CIA file, and then inside the same folder, find a CIA file that you want to install. So for instance, Ocarina of Time 3D is a CIA file. I'm going to tap on it. It's going to install it. It might take a few minutes, but if I go back into my applications folder, refresh the page, and it should show up after a while. And everything I mentioned about importing or installing your games into Azahar applies to Citra as well. All right, now that we have all our games on our Android device, we want to transfer our saves over. Let's talk about that next. Backing up your 3DS saves and transferring them to your Android device is fairly straightforward. First, you need to open Checkpoint on your 3DS. Once it loads up your games, pick the game you want to transfer its saves. I'm going to pick Pokemon X here as an example. Press A on the game, then press the lift trigger to create a backup of your save. Tap Yes to confirm, and then give your save file a name. I'd say give it something you'll recognize easily later. I've named mine Android save for instance, but yeah, it's not super important because Checkpoint categorizes your saves into folders with the games names anyways, so you won't be confused. Either way, create backup files of all the games you're wanting to transfer to Android. Once you're done, you're going to need to move them to your Android device. You'll find these save files on your SD card in 3DS, going to Checkpoint, and then saves. You're gonna find that all the saves you've backed up through Checkpoint are listed in this folder and you can easily recognize which one is which by their name. So now these are the files that we need to transfer over to our Android device. How you do the transfer is up to you again, but I've placed all my saves from my 3DS on my PC and from there, 
Again, I'm going to use an FTP client to put those files on my RG477M. So once you've transferred your saves onto your Android device, we're going to need to make sure to put them into the correct folders so they can be read by emulators on Android. As I mentioned before, Citra MMJ doesn't have an easy solution for importing saves at the moment, so I'm only going to talk about Azahar here. So in Azahar, you need to make sure that your games are loaded and you can play them because you actually need to go into the game and create a save file for each of these games so that Azahar creates the folder for it. So once you've created a save file inside the game, tap and hold on the game and then tap on the little folder on the right side of the play button here. You can't miss it. And then tap on open save data folder. This is going to open Solid Explorer, which is the app I was talking about before. And you can see why I suggest you use the same app here, because it creates these two columns here that makes it really easy to copy and paste your files into different folders. Now on the right hand side, I've got my Azahar save that I just created. And on the left hand side, I've got my 3DS saves that I've brought over from my 3DS. So I'm going to go into that. I'm going to tap on new Super Mario Bros 2. And I've got two different saves here. I've got eBay and OG saves. Uh, eBay is the one I created when I bought this cartridge off of eBay. The cartridge came with someone else's saves and I really didn't want to destroy them. I just felt bad. So I backed them up and I'm going to actually load it up onto Azahar now. So I'm going to go into eBay and then I'm going to drag and drop the save file onto the right hand side. I'm going to pick copy here and then I'm going to pick new because I don't want to lose the original save that I created from my 3DS. So everything is going to stay intact. Once we've done that, we can go back into Azahar and we can actually start playing Super Mario Bros. 2 again. And if everything is done correctly, I should have a whole new save with someone else's games. And yeah, as you can see, there is World 2. World 2 is all someone else's someone else's save that, yeah, I just felt bad. I didn't want to delete it. I feel like, you know, this is someone's time, someone's effort. Just kind of felt weird deleting it. So in any case, you need to repeat the same process for all the other games that you've got on Azahar. Once everything is done, you can launch your games and Azahar will recognize your saves so you can pick up your games exactly where you left off on your 3DS. Now, if you're dealing with a large library, a more convenient solution for transferring your games is to use a God Mode 9 script called 3SD. Using this method is not going to be loading up your SD card with more CIA and CXI files, and you can use your PC to create those files, which is a bit faster than using the 3DS. To use 3SD, you're going to need to download the latest version from their GitHub page, which is going to be linked down below. 3SD supports Windows, Mac, and Linux machines, and I'm going to be using the PC version in this guide. Anyways, once you've downloaded the files, unzip it and go into this folder. You then need to copy the 3sdumper.gm9 file onto your 3DS's SD card. It will need to be placed in the GM9 scripts folder. Once you've done this, boot your 3DS into God Mode 9, then press the home button to bring up the action menu, then select scripts. Pick 3sdumper from the list and press A to start the process. Now this might take a few minutes depending on the size of your library and don't worry this will not take up a big chunk of space on your SD card. When the script is finished dumping the files it needs it's going to give you a message that says it's been done successfully. Press A to continue. You're then going to need to actually switch off your 3DS because you need to physically remove the SD card from your 3DS as the next step requires the SD card to be inserted into your PC so it can work with a 3SD app on your PC. So put the SD card in your PC and and start the 3SD app. Your SD card should get recognized automatically. So select your SD card and press OK and the app will start showing you the contents of your SD card, which again might take a few minutes to load depending on the size of your library. From here on, you can pick the game you want to dump and create CXI or CIA files. Just right click on the game you want to dump and pick the option you want. Now, unfortunately, this is a process you're going to have to do one game at a time, which isn't exactly nice, but it's definitely much faster than using your 3DS. 3SD was last updated in 2020, so I don't think it's in active development anymore, and its main purpose is for importing 3DS games and saves to Citra on PC. Citra on PC obviously doesn't exist anymore, at least not in its original form, so yeah, we're just going to use the part of the app that helps us get what we need. Anyways, once you have your 3DS files, the rest of the process is the same as before. Transfer them over to your Android device, and yeah, you know the rest. So that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. 
If that's the case, make sure to give it a like and if you want to see more guides like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Enjoy playing your 3DS games on your Android device and I'll see you in the next one.